This is my problem number 25 and this is very important problem for examination. And uh, for examination point of view, you have to remember the trick method. If you will not remember, then you will be in problem. So first I am applying cos inverse x plus cos inverse y. It is given it is theta cos inverse x plus cos inverse y is cos inverse x y minus 1 minus x square root over into 1 minus y square root over is equal to theta. First you have to take this, multiply this to minus 1 minus this square root over into 1 minus second part square root over. Now take this uh, cos inverse to right side, it becomes cos theta x by a y by b. Huh. It is very important step in this, uh, it is a very important step here. You have to take this to right side and take this to left side because the total root over part should be on the right side. The total root over part should be on right side. So this is a very important step. If you will miss this step in the exam hall, then you will go on, go on, but no answer you will come to the final point x by a y by b minus cos theta whole square is 1 minus x by a the square into 1 minus y by b the square. It is, if you take the whole square, it becomes a minus b the whole square, a square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta. If you multiply this, say, 1 minus x square by a square minus y square by b square plus x square by a square into y square by b square root over, sorry, x square by a square into y square by b square, this part and this part. They are equal, so they cancel each other. Now, uh, x square by a square coming to the left side, it becomes the first line, x square by a square, and I am writing minus 2x by a, uh, minus 2x by a into y by b cos theta, plus this, uh, to the left side becomes y square by b square, and if you take this cos square theta to the right side, it becomes 1 minus x, 1 minus cos square theta. So it becomes x square by a square minus 2x by a y by b cos theta plus y square by b square is equal to what? Sin square theta. Sometimes uh, in exam this line will come. For the next problem it is also there. So if that step multiply a square by square to both sides it becomes if you multiply a square b square a square will cancel it becomes b square x square minus 2xy a b cos theta plus if you multiply a square b square it becomes what a square y square and becomes a square b square sin square theta and it is applicable for the next problem i am not solving that problem you will do from your own mind okay important step this is the important step now sin inverse x plus sin inverse y is equal to sin inverse this much. In every problem, this is the star mark thing. Means you have to remember this thing. This thing exactly. Otherwise you can't face the problem. This is sin inverse, sin inverse. You have to convert this to cos inverse. And the formula is cos inverse 1 minus x square by a square. Each part should be converted to cos inverse. Now apply the formula cos inverse x plus cos inverse y. It is what? Cos inverse x into y minus, e plus it is minus, 1 minus, 1 minus, this part square root over of 1 minus x square by a square root over of square into 1 minus, 1 minus y square by b square root over of square. Whole this part is equal to cos inverse that part. Okay. Now, here this side cos inverse, that side also cos inverse. Never said we cancel each other. No. I am taking cos to both sides. Then it becomes this and that becomes this. If, we, if I will take cos, you should not write it. You should only imply cos inverse this much is equal to cos inverse that much. So this is equal to, this means what? This part is equal to this. Then what you will do? You just simplify a square minus x square root over by a, b square minus y square root over by b, minus x by a, y by b. You simplify a square minus b square minus c fourth by a b. Next step, 
you should cancel AB to both sides. Okay. Now look at this problem. This is my answer. We have to reach at this point. Now look at here. I am cancelling AB. From the, this is what uh, my the first st last step. And when I cancel it becomes this. Then what we should do? This is the turning point. So I am putting. Now for the, this double star mark. Look at here. For the answer what is there? x y a square b square minus c for the root over when this 2 a b 2 x y into this part will come if it will go to the right side and it becomes a square so two times of this will happen now take this to that side it is very important you have to observe it take this to that side then squaring both sides you get what you get the square root over, then the root over will go, it becomes uh, multiply this, it becomes this and this uh, x square y square plus 2xy into this plus this. Now what will happen? b square x square minus b square x square minus a square y square. Uh, uh, when it will go to the right side, it becomes b square x square plus uh, 2xy a square b square minus c fourth plus a square y square and this becomes what when this will come to the left side it becomes c fourth okay now for the problem number 28 and uh, sign inverse sign inverse i am repeatedly telling to you that uh, it is a very star mark point on this uh, line first you have to convert to cos inverse otherwise it will not uh, you can't reach the problem cos inverse x y minus 1 minus this 1 minus this square whole root over into 1 minus 1 minus y square by b square root over square whole root over is equal to what alpha then this becomes what 1 minus x square by a square into 1 minus y square by b square minus and this becomes for whole square 1 1 will cancel minus minus become plus it becomes x by a that becomes y by b and it becomes what if we take this uh, both sides if we take cos it will cos inverse cos cos inverse this is this and cos of alpha is cos alpha otherwise this is cos inverse something is equal to alpha so this thing this thing is equal to what this thing is equal to what cos alpha now taking this x by a y by b to that side why you will take now look at here the answer is 2 into x by a y by b cos alpha 2 a b when 2 a b will come when it is a plus b the whole square so then squaring to both sides we get our m that is now when squaring to both sides, uh, the square root over will uh, out and it becomes 1 minus 1 into this 1 minus x square by a square minus y square by b square into 1 minus y square by b square and when you multiply this it becomes plus x square by a square into y square by b square. Now it becomes x square by a square into y square by b square plus cos square alpha plus 2ab 2 into x by a into y by b into cos alpha now x square by a square into y square by b square they cancel each other it becomes x square by a square when it will go to right side it will become x square by a square this become y square by b square and there exists here 2 into x by a y by b cos alpha and this cos square alpha come to this side it becomes 1 minus cos square alpha ultimately the left side is here and the right side is sin square alpha. Now for this problem, first observe what is the answer. Answer is x fourth, y fourth, z fourth, 4 x square, y square, z square is equal to 2 whole into x square, y square plus y square, z square plus z square, x square. Now sin inverse x plus sin inverse y. It is sin inverse x into 1 minus y square plus y into 1 minus x square root over. This take this sin inverse z to that side it becomes pi minus sin inverse z i am taking this 
as formula and taking this to outside. Okay. Now take sine to both sides. So it becomes x1 minus y square root over y into 1 minus x square root over sine pi minus sine inverse z. Now a now x1 minus y square plus y into 1 minus x square root over sin 180 minus theta and you know sin pi minus theta is equal to sin theta it, so it becomes sin sin inverse z sin theta sin sin inverse z which is z now this term comes okay now x into this plus y into this is equal to z take this z to this side this is the turning step turning step don't keep two root hours in one side this is the trick don't keep two root hours in one side keep a root hour on one side another root hour on the other side then squaring to both sides it becomes a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab this becomes this now open it if you open then x square minus, minus of x square minus y square minus of x square y square will cancel and this will go to the right side this will come to the left side and this becomes x square minus y square plus z square x square minus y square plus z square is equal to 2zx 2zx into 1 minus y square root over squaring both sides we get this squaring both sides we get this and it becomes x fourth plus y fourth plus z fourth minus uh, a minus b plus c whole square it is a square plus b square plus c square minus 2ab minus 2bc plus 2ca is equal to multiply that part if we will multiply then take these three things to that side and this thing to left side if we will take it becomes 4x square y square z square it becomes 2x square y square it becomes 2y square z square and this becomes 4z square x square, 2z square x square. To come to one side, it becomes 2z square x square, x4 to y4, z4 plus this, 2 times of this. Okay? Now, I want to solve the problem solution for inverse trigonometry function equations. Okay?